guys, so today is going to be um, a review of these squishy stampers that I got from the Born Pretty store and it is also going to be my nail design for the black and white nails for the 31 day challenge that I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to get started here. So with this set you get five different uh, stamper heads and these are the marshmallow stampers, I think that's what they call them. Um, I found that some of them are a little bit softer, so I'm finding that the white, like the clear one, is really soft compared to, like, the green one is, like, a little bit harder or firmer, as you can see when I'm squishing them. Um, I find the blue one is probably a little, I think it's a little bit softer than the green one. And then the pink one, I think it's about the same as the blue one. And then the red one is about similar to the red, the pink, and the blue. So they are a little bit different. Um, as I said, the clear one is the softest. Um, I've never had these kind of stampers before. So we're going to see how it works out. So it comes with these five stamper heads, and then you get this little black thing to hold your stamper head as well. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the other one that I have from my other stamper that I got that's the same size, just a different stamper head. I'm going to use both for this tutorial. So as I said, um, I am doing a 31 day nail art challenge. I've done this before. I've done it, this will be my third year doing it now. Um, this will be the first time I'm doing it on YouTube because I mostly just did it on my blog, alliesblog.ca. So, um, I'm going to try and do as many YouTube videos as I can, but, um, most of it will just be on my blog and like Instagram and my Twitter and my Facebook. So you can just check me out there at just follow out Al at Allie's blog. I will put it all down in the description. So we're going to get started. Um, today I'm going to be using, uh, the Born Pretty Stamping Plate 10. I'm just going to be using this here. And I'm going to be doing a bit of a gradient. Uh, I'm going to be using my black Avon polish. This is Black Drama. Then I'm going to use the Essence, the gel nail polish. And this is Wild White Ways. And then I'm going to be using Revlon Silver Dollar. So we're going to see how these stampers work. I'm going to use one stamper per nail. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the white. And then silver. And black. So we're going to start off the green one. It's damned pretty decent. I think I might have to change my silver polish actually. Alright, sorry about that. I realized that silver nail polish like never really stamps that well and I totally forgot about it. So we are going to be using the OPIs. Uh, this is from the Color Paints and it's the, just a silver canvas undercoat. I'm going to give that a try. Would it be fair to use polish that doesn't really stamp well when trying out new dampers. Alright, so let's try this again. So same stamping plate and we're going to use the green one. Alright, see that actually turned out really well. Let's see how it stamps on my nail. Pretty good actually. Alright, let's try the next one. So again, we're going to go in with the white. 
the blue saber and this one actually also turned out pretty good so let's try it on my nail Oops. and it worked out pretty well too all right let's change up the heads here and we're gonna do the red one Finding that um, they do collect a lot of dust on the squishy stampers so you're pretty much always gonna have to clean them before you use them just in case because you don't want to get any dust in them and look in your stamping just so you know Also turning out pretty good. I'm gonna do this one a different way. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna clean up a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to do the pink one, and again, same pattern. The only thing is that this stamper actually didn't come with a scraper, so I'm actually using one of the scrapers I already had. That one also turned out really well. I'm going to try that on my nail. Um, we're going to do it this way. Very nice. Um, yeah, so it didn't actually come with the scrapers, so if you don't have any other scrapers, you might want to buy one before getting um, this actual particular set because it doesn't include one. Or you can always use like an old gift card or something like that. Those work just as well. Alright, so now we're going to try the last one. Hopefully it works. Very nice. All right, and I think I'm gonna do it that way. So when you're doing squishy stampers, you more like press your nail into the actual stamper. You don't need as much force. So that's the finished design there. I think it's got enough black and white. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean these up a little bit with um some tape. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and I cleaned up all my nails. Um, now I am just going to add my essence and the gel top coat here just to seal in my design. It's always good when you're painting after you stamp to, when you do your top coat, try not to touch the brush because you don't want to smear the stamper. 
Um, so now I think I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. So now I'm going to be using my Essence Nail Art um, Sparkly Top Coat. Just to shake me, I'm pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to shake it. And you can see that it's got like holographic glitters. Um, this one's called Let's Stars Rain Down on Me. I really like this top coat because it's very sparkly and it's not too much glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit. manicure. You can kind of see the glitter a little bit, not much, but it's better in the light. Um, so overall, I do really like this squishy stamper. Um, I was worried that I would have to like prime it before because I've heard a lot about um, people having to prime them beforehand, but I didn't, so that's pretty good. Um, when cleaning them, you can either use like a lint brush or tape, or you can use like a lightly nail polish remover to clean off. I just use tape, so I'm just using this extra tape that I have, and all you do is just remove it like that. Um, like I said, I would probably always use tape right before I move them just because I find that because they are squishy and they're more like sticky that... Uh, they collect a lot more dust and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to keep these like in a, a bag or something like that. Um, overall, I like them a lot. I think they work pretty well. Um, you got to make sure that you use good nail polish, obviously, for stamping because some don't stamp as well. Um, I like the head that came with it. I have one much like this, so it's pretty good. Only one thing is that it actually doesn't come with a scraper. So if you don't have a scraper, then you gotta find something else. But I, I like them. So and I like that you get five because if you are doing um, like reverse stamping or like more advanced stamping, you have like five stampers, which is pretty great. So overall, they're pretty good. And I really hope that you found this helpful and you are gonna check out my designs that I have been doing so far for the 31 Day Challenge. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.